Hello world, this is Will Johnson here and today I wanted to go over the cost associated with buying a house. So this video will be very helpful for first time home buyers if you're looking for a starter home or if you're just trying to educate yourself about real estate and you don't uh, know much. So this is more of a beginner's crash course. So buying a house is a big expense, but the purchase price of the house is not the only cost away when buying a house. Here are some other expenses that you may want to take into account. Now, I do want to tell you before I get into this that renting, uh, when you rent something, unless somebody owns the property outright, which I don't think most people do. Most people have a mortgage, whether it's a mortgage on their apartment or whether it's a mortgage on the house that you're renting. And which, when you rent, you're paying these expenses anyway. So Because unless somebody owns their house outright, you're basically paying for their mortgage. So usually from what I've found in my own experience, it is cheaper to actually own and have a mortgage with the house and you actually uh it's an investment so you can get money back when you do decide to move and you have things like appreciation the house may go up in value uh you may have depreciation things that you can write off things that you've repaired around the house so let's get into the cost associated with buying a house so number one first i wanted to cover is property taxes like the old saying goes if nobody else gets their money, Uncle Sam will get his money first. So everybody has to pay property taxes. You, you pay property taxes on uh, your house. You're going to pay uh, registration fees on your car. So one way or another, you're going to pay some form of taxes on whatever you do and whatever you make. So in generally where I stay in the state of Texas, they want the property taxes paid by the 31st of January of the following year so you could uh not you don't have to pay for 2017 into 2018 january the 31st is a good example of that right now so what you do when you get a mortgage though is you pay one payment which is your mortgage and you they set up you an account which is called an escrow account now your escrow account basically takes the money and it holds the money so when you pay it, it takes the portion out that's going to go to the property taxes and they'll pay it for you. So that's what the mortgage does. So you're still paying property taxes, but it's paid through your mortgage. The next thing I want to cover is insurance. So insurance is uh, homeowner's insurance. So depending on where you stay, you might have to have flood insurance or you may have to have some other type of insurance depending on where you stay. And that may vary in cost on how much money you're going to pay in homeowner's insurance. But just like if you lease a car, they make you get full coverage insurance, especially if it's a new car or a new used car, because they have to insure their product and their investment. So if they're going to loan you money and give you a mortgage, so they're going to make you get homeowner's insurance to ensure that their investment is protected. Now, after your house is paid for, you don't have to have homeowner's insurance, although it's a good idea to keep homeowner's insurance. It's your choice after you own your house. So, the next thing is homeowner's association, or uh, acronym is HOA. So, HOA is uh, something that you pay generally uh, most neighborhoods are getting it now but it's generally when you stay in a suburb or your neighborhoods where you drive through and everything looks nice everything looks kind of the same that's because hoa maintains these things they have rules and regulations on what you should do and what you should not do for instance you can't plant certain trees you can't plant trees in certain spots so there are areas where you can do things like in your backyard but some neighborhoods are more stricter than others and you can't do as much as others so uh, another good example is you might have a horse 
and you want you may want the horse or the goat or something like that to be in your yard and HOA may say no we're not allowing any horses and no goats no farm animals around here so that's what HOA is for so that way your neighbors are happy that uh, your horses and your goats aren't going around the neighborhood eating all the grass or whatever that may happen the next thing and the last thing i want to go into is repairs remodeling and maintenance so when you have a house you have to do your own repairs you have to pay somebody or do it yourself you have to do your own remodeling if you want to do it when you rent you don't have to do repairs a lot of times unless that's part of your agreement and you don't have to do remodeling unless it's part of your agreement but when you own your own house, you will have to do these things and you're going to have to do maintenance. You're going to have to cut grass, wash windows, anything like that. You know, if the house roof has a leak in it, you're going to have to put effort towards fixing it. Like I said, when you rent, you pay for all these things in one bucket, which is rent, but you don't have to worry about it. The homeowner does it. But now since you're the, going to be the homeowner, you're going to have to do these things. As the old saying goes, it costs to be the boss. You can take it literally. It does cost to be the boss. So these are the costs associated with uh, owning a house. Your realtor can discuss the various costs associated with owning your home with you. Uh, so make sure you get with your realtor to discuss these things. But these have been the costs associated with owning a house. So thank you as always. And if you like this video and you found this video helpful, you, can you please give it a thumbs up, a like, and if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out other content of this nature to try to help you. Thank you. Will Johnson here. If you're in the Houston area and you need real estate advice or if you're looking to buy, sell, or rent, just click the link below or give us a call. We'll be happy to help. Goodbye. See you next time.